Hey everyone, it's Danielle from We Talk Film, here to talk to you about all the most exciting features coming out in August, aka most wanted movies. Let's dig in. Some conflicts require a gun. Whoa! Has led you here. Why do you know the names to all the specific Twilight films? Now, first up and out on the 3rd of August is Bullet Train. This is an action thriller with an absolutely stacked all-star cast, including Brad Pitt, Sandra Bullock, Joey King, and Aaron Taylor Johnson. It's directed by stunt coordinator turned director David Leach, who previously made the John Wick films alongside Atomic Blonde and Deadpool 2, and is adapted from a Japanese bestseller by Kotaro Isaka. Brad Pitt stars as an assassin coming out of retirement for one last job. He is sent onto a bullet train to retrieve a briefcase, but soon discovers the train is full of other assassins who are all there for the same job mayhem ensues. After the recent cult hits of both Snowpiercer and Train to Busan, we know this format works. Bad guys fighting other bad guys trapped on a train. So let's see how this measures up. Bullet Train is out in cinemas on the 3rd of August. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Evan, hmm. where's the briefing? You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. Next up and out on the 12th of August is Day Shift. Uh, Day Shift looks to be an action comedy. It stars Jamie Foxx, Dave Franco and Snoop Dogg. Uh, Jamie Foxx has a pool cleaning business which is actually a cover for his real job of hunting and killing vampires in exchange for money. He's sort of a vampire bounty hunter. Uh, this film, oddly, also comes from a stunt worker who previously worked on John Wick, uh, this time it's first-time director J.J. Perry. It's weird these two films are coming out so close together. Uh, it looks like it hopefully has a decent sense of humour about it, and uh, it's been a while since he's been in anything, but Snoop Dogg actually has decent comedic acting chops, so it could be worth a go. Possibly quite ridiculous, though. Uh, that's Day Shift out on the 12th of August, and this one's streaming on Netflix. And all they are is murderers. Now, my final pick for the month of August is definitely the most exciting. It's the return of probably the most innovative voice in horror today. That's the latest film from writer and director Jordan Peele, and it's called Nope. All you need to know is that Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer are a brother and sister living in a backwater California town who are investigating some very strange goings on. Now, in Get Out, it turned out to be uh, racist body snatchers. In Us, it was doppelgangers. For Nope, I will say, uh, try and avoid watching the latest trailer for it, the one that's being billed as a uh, final trailer, because it gives far too much away and I'd rather not know going in. So let's just uh, go into Nope being very freaked out. That's out in cinemas everywhere on the 12th of August. to the best of the rest. Now I've got quite a few options for you covering a few genres, although as ever, uh, of the best of the rest, I can't hold to their quality. Uh, up first, one for the family. Out on the 13th of August on Paramount Plus is Secret Headquarters. It's a family adventure film starring Owen Wilson, Michael Pena and Walker, Walker Scoble, who is the new Percy Jackson. Uh, a young kid with a boring dad finds a secret lair under their house and comes to the conclusion his dad is secretly a superhero. The kids get themselves into trouble when they all start playing with his gadgets and as you can imagine, someone is required to suit up. That's Secret Headquarters on the 13th of August. 
Uh, up next on the 19th of August is a sequel. It's Fisherman's Friends One and All. Uh, the first film came out in 2019. It's the true story of a group of Cornish fishermen who had a surprise smash hit album of sea shanties when it came out on Universal Records. Uh, this is the sequel which sees the band struggling with their newfound success and preparing for a Glastonbury slot. It's twee, it's British, it's probably quite nice. Uh, also out on the 19th of August, you've got a horror option. It is a prequel. It's Orphan First Kill, which is coming out 13 years after the original, but is set before it. Uh, a spooky schoolgirl terrorises a family. I've got to say, I'm not sure about this one, seeing as the point of the first one was the reveal ending, and if everyone knows the reveal, then I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I guess we'll see. Uh, also out 26th of August is Beast. Beast stars Idris Elba. He is a widowed father taking his two daughters on a dream holiday for a safari trip. But things go wrong when the family are stalked by an enormous, vengeful lion who's trying to kill them. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, but hey, we've had giant shark, we've had giant alligator, we've had giant anaconda. Why not do lion? Just chuck it in there. And finally, uh, also the 26th of August, it's another Netflix streamer. It's Me Time which stars Kevin Hart, who is in everything on Netflix these days, and Marky Mark Wahlberg. Uh, it's an out-and-out -out slapstick comedy. Kevin Hart's character gets a week to himself without his kids, so goes and raves it up like he was a teenager again. It looks ridiculous, but it might be fun. So that's it from me. As ever, do let us know which of these films, if any, you're going to check out. Let us know if there's an important one I've missed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I'm Danny. This is We Talk Film. Come join us. <laughs>